Emma Barton is challenging movie icon Audrey Hepburn. It's, it's all about encouraging us to, to have a cuppa, isn't it, Emma? Hello. It's so good to see you. <laughs> I love that quick change there. That was quite comedy. <laughs> if you see the girls left, and Emma come in. And it's so nice to see you. Now, nice this, is a, this you. is a terrific idea for a great cause. It's amazing. Um, over a million people next year in the UK will be affected by dementia. Yep. Um, this is something very close to my heart. Uh, I lost my uncle to dementia a couple of years ago. And these Admiral Nurses, so the charity work closely with them, who the Admiral Nurses offer, you know, one-to-one -one support, advice, sure. um, great idea, guidance. Yeah. And so let's have a cup of tea, let's have a slice of cake, <laughs> and every pound raised helps those Admiral Nurses to continue their support to families that have been affected Do you know what, I have to dementia. say, I wasn't too aware of these up until quite recently, the yeah. work that they do. It's kind of in the same vein as the Macmillan Absolutely. Nurse Curie, that yeah. kind of thing, that they just just come in there, they're absolute walking saints. They're amazing. Come in there and just help. And reassure and yeah. help and just fill you with kindness and hope. Sure. Um, it's frightening. You know, it's a it's very, a horrible very disease, scary. Emma. Yeah. It's a horrible, horrible disease. And the whole Audrey Hepburn thing comes into it in what way? Well, they <laughs> asked, would I like to dress up as, as, as Audrey Hepburn? I sort of said, yes, please. Yes, thank, thank you very, very much. much. <laughs> uh, one of my icons. Oh, and uh, to raise awareness, and I met Phyllis Logan on the day who oh. dressed as Mary Poppins, and I was so excited Wonderful. to meet her, massive Downton Abbey <laughs> fan, and yeah, it was a lovely thing to do, so sure. to raise awareness and get to dress up yeah, as lovely Yeah, it's, it's not just <laughs> about funds, this one, because more than welcome, funds obviously are funding very important, but it is about awareness, isn't it, Emma? Yeah, absolutely, and like I said, it's just um, people going onto the Dementia UK website, finding out about the Admiral Nurses, it's getting good. a fundraising pack, and like I said, and I think it would be a good idea, like, you know, you put your phone down for an hour, have a cup of tea, just chat with people, chat with other people don't do that enough. we don't do it enough, <laughs> we don't do and, it enough. and it's lovely to be sat here chatting to you talking no, about it's really it because good. it's important and yeah it'll and be as lovely. you said very important to you because you, you your uncle sadly yeah. died of this horrible horrible illness but you've also you were part of the marathon team from eastenders who and, and this was all in honor of barbara windsor yeah. the legend that is barbara windsor and you ran the marathon with scott her husband i did that was a great thing to do it was it amazing really was. and when scott asked would we like to be a part i sort of jumped at the chance just Yay. purely because because I love Scott and Barbara dearly because of, um, of my uncle and and I thought you know I do I do want to get fit mm. uh, I didn't run the whole lot I, d I did a walk and jog but it's I did still fine. did it, it in matter. six hours 20 Three minutes, but That's I was fine. proud of myself. Who and it was cares? a wonderful experience yeah. that day. And I'm going to go and support Scott and Tanya Franks, who's running it um, this year. Um, because the, 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 the lovely, you know, way everyone, the community around London came together and cheering oh, us brilliant. on and shouting your name. I was like, yes, I'm going. I I'm think the crowd, because I did do three Londons, yeah. the, the crowd helped you through. Absolutely. They're worth about 10 miles. Yeah. Just the crowd. Yeah, you know, so just to get to you everyone. That. And isn't it great that the job that you do, and especially now with the whole Strictly connection, allows you to shine a light on something that sadly has been a bit of a Cinderella, Alzheimer's and, and dementia. We were talking about it a lot more than we were, um, but we've still got a long way to go, a long, long mm -hmm. way to go. And congratulations, finalist of Strictly. <laughs> I've never seen Anton Dubeck so happy oh. in all of my born days. It was like all these Christmases and Wasn't birthdays that came at once. He, he was so oh, happy. He was so happy. And I remember when we got our... It was that day, actually, that show when we got to our first tens, where he got his first tens at Blackpool. And he just went and fell to his knees. And we just had the best time. And, uh, yeah, it was really good. And I was really proud that we got that And you part. did the tour as well. Did the tour. Not with Anton, though. I had Graziano. Oh, you poor thing. It was very difficult, Lorraine. Because he's not shame. the best to look at, you know. Good, would you it's be looking very at difficult him? for me. No, he's gorgeous. And it was lovely. I mean, it was win-win, really. You get to dance with two partners, two wonderful Fantastic. world champion dancers. In, are you still yeah. dancing? Are you still are you going to continue dancing? I would like to. I'd I like to should. keep the fitness up. It's yeah. amazing. I feel so much happier and driven. I feel like, you know, like with the energy levels, you do get sometimes stuck in a rut, yeah. you know, like, you know, doing your sort of normal job and you know, putting the effort in and, and yeah, Just, keep it up. You were magical. <laughs> Twinkle Toes. It was incredible. Nice now, look, great. EastEnders 35th party. Yeah. I bet that was a bash and a half. It was great. Of course it was. Now, we've, you're, we're going to see you back soon, aren't we? Because it's been a wee while and yeah. we're going to see you back soon. You, you've missed ever. I, I missed like, a lot. I would be here forever if I had to, to, to fill you in on what's been going on. Yeah, I'm just glad yeah. I wasn't on the boat. No, I'm so yes. glad you weren't yes. on the boat. That was, oof, that was scary. But look, June Brown, do you know what's happening with June? Has she got... She, 
She's going to parachute back, surely. Oh, I hope she is going to parachute back. Yeah. That would be a cool storyline around. <laughs> she um, actually parachuted, yeah. <laughs> coming, coming to Wolford. Oh, there you are. Oh, she's a darling. And, and, you know, not just I'm not just saying this, but I know the entire EastEnders family just love June. She's a legend. She's She is... EastEnders, um, yeah. but I haven't been I haven't been there since November, so I don't know what's going sure. on. But we just love her, and she's an inspiration to us she all. Is. The thing is, she is in her nineties, and yes. she is allowed to take it a little bit uh, easier. Yeah, it's allowed. <laughs> <laughs> but it just would be lovely if now, just now and again, she came back. Just, pops just now and again, I think that would that would be fantastic. So everything's good back in EastEnders, and obviously everybody's got to go and have a cup of tea. How can we find out more about this? Yeah, campaign? go to please go on to the Dementia UK's website. Download your fundraising pack. And like I said, every cuppa, every slice of cake, a pound goes to our Admiral nurses that just support everybody that is affected with their families with dementia. And it's just wonderful. a wonderful cause. And I can't thank them enough. They were so helpful to my family and I. Oh, that's really good. We had it. Yeah, it so. makes a big difference, doesn't it? Just having that support. Yeah. Sometimes you can feel very isolated. Yeah. Emma, thank you. Thanks, what Lorraine. a joy. Great oh, to see you. To see you look amazing. And, it's, <laughs> and it'd be really nice to, to see you back on EastEnders. Yes. And as they say, keep dancing. Keep dancing. Keep dancing. <laughs>